you will come back once again the video tutorial of today we recover all around the way of interfacing Arduino and seven segment of course in Proteus simulation so uh, now you are ready to flow the K2K YouTube channel I hope you already make subscribe and let's try to click run and see where, whether what we do is running where you see the seven segment is self counting from one up to nine and then turn to one so let me try to zoom this a little bit so that you get a read on what is happening you see the seven segment is counting from zero up to nine so without delay let's jump on the work and try to see how you make code and make this configuration so let us first start by all about interfacing seven segment it means to know a bit more about how seven segment work all right the seven segment is nothing but a seven leds which are interconnected together in one chip so to make it clear i try to use a seven segment and then on the side i show the way the leds are connected together the, a the leds are labeled from a to g as you see there this is the segment A which will give us light from here and from A to G both light up together to give us a sign of a number. For example, I have to demonstrate this clearly. Let me try to zoom out a little bit and then hit run. You see the for example when we are displaying six the segment A the segment D, the segment, the segment A, the segment C, the segment D, the segment E, F, G, R, both light up together. C, A, B, A, C, D, E, F, and back to A segment R, both give us the light. So if I try to turn on also the segment B, also the they will change the number and then display six the seven segment comes in two types they may be either a common cathode or a common anode for common cathode all the cathodes are connected together to one point it means the other the other anode port will be connected to the changing logic so, so that the logic should be changed according to the number we wish to display and then this is the common anode it means all the anode points are connected together and it will be changing the logic to the port to the rest port so that you may display the number according to the wish so i hope you get an introduction to the seven segment let's jump on to our work see let me try to open a new project and then call it like Arduino and seven segment and then hit next, next, next and then try to open up the new Proteus and then come to Arduino, pick like Arduino Uno, make sure you keep in mind the Arduino which you are using so that once you're going to, to run the code you will be able to determine which kind of Arduino you are going to use, then come here and then pick a seven segment display for our case let us use common cathode now after selecting the common cathode place it like here then bring the, the ground go to power bring the ground put it here and then connect your common port which is a common cathode it means all cathode of our seven segment are just connected to one point and then let us try to use port from zero and then zero will be connected to the segment A one will be connected to the segment B and then two will be connected to the segment C and then give me like one second to connect 
this now after configuring our hardware this is the output so in connecting this i don't throw the rules for protecting my leds in seven segment because there's no protection resistor but once you are going to you to run it uh, from if we are going to run it in the hardware it means having arduino and seven segment make sure i protect with resistor i may be using a protection of like 1k resistor for each segment so let us jump onto the code and get a little explanation about that now this is the code you see I first declare the segment which I am going to interface with Arduino and, the, and that is a short time delay of 500 milliseconds, milliseconds so that each number will be displayed from uh, each number will be displayed and then wait for a second in order that it will be visible to the to us now the when you are going to light up the the zero, the only segment will be. You see that this is the configuration of the pin, where each pin are said to be the output. And then, I hope this is not necessary. And for our case, we will be using a case structure to light up or nine. Uh, uh, 10 numbers we are going to display on our in our project you see we we use the for loop which will count from 0 up to 9 it means which will enable us to display all 10 digit which we wish then we switch the case and once our for loop count is 0 we will switch the case 0 and for the case 0 the only segment the all segment all six segment will get high except the segment g and when you are going to display and when you are going to display one the all segment will we get logic according to the number we want to display you see for segment a will get low segment d will get low and the other flow according to the wish if you want to get the code you may stop and then try to write the code on your own You see, we, are, we supply the logic to the port of our seven segment according to the number which you want to display. And then, after doing that, you copy this link, you select this file path showing where you are going to store, where the, where the file is stored, and then paste it to the to the portiers open up the Arduino and then paste it here and then hit your okay. see when you try to hit run the number will increment according to the case structure which we display which we call in our code Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a feedback by giving thumbs up, by liking this video. Make sure you hit subscribe in order that you will get the notification of the video that will be uploaded soon. So I hope you turn on the notification so that you will be present all the time. The name is Alex Seva here and the channel is K2K YouTube channel. Stay in touch, share with your neighbor love this channel because this will be a continuing series of teachings on Proteus.